Welcome back to Sous Vide Everything, guys. Today, pamonha. You know, traditionally in Brazil, is made with only four ingredients, which is corn, oil, sugar, and the cheese, queijo mineiro. If you have not seen that video yet, make sure you check it out on the card above. But anyway, me and Mama, we were grown up on this thing. We eat it all the time, so we are Mineiros, which is what, you know, for example, if you're from Florida, they call you Floridians, and Mineiro is because of Minas Gerais, the state where we're from. And this is something that we've always eaten, so we know the flavor very well. I have done it traditionally and tried it sous vide, and it was a complete disaster. It did not taste good. And I have, I have been tweaking this recipe for the last week and a half making it every single day. My wife, my kids are tired of seeing corn in the house. And I think I finally got it. I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna come out today, but we're gonna find out. This is how I made it, check it out. These are all the ingredients we're gonna be using for this recipe. Remember, exact amount in the description down below. Just throw everything into your food processor. The pamoya is ready. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. Let's do it. All right, my good friend Angel, what do you think? I know you might have a different idea, but it looks amazing. It <laughs> smells awesome. It smells fantastic. I am very curious to find out your opinion more than Mama because Mama knows what it tastes like, but you have no idea what it's supposed to taste like. So please, give it a try. Is that cheese inside? That's uh, the queso blanco that I made, Suzy. Oh. Wow, you kill me there, man. How is it, Ninja? Wow. We call this in Spanish atole. And, uh, you know, you brought me back, bro. It hurts. It hurts. It's good. That thing is good. That thing is amazing. <laughs> wow. It's good? Give yeah. it a vibe. I've been trying. I love it, bro. Well, guys, I have something to say, but before I say anything, I want my mom to try it. Mama, you know what it's supposed to taste like, oh. so I'm curious to find out. It smells just like the thing. Bye-bye mm. mm. diet. Mm. <laughs> mm. So the taste is spot on. The consistency oh, yeah. is... You like the taste, Ninja? Oh, yeah. The consistency is... I like it a little bit rougher. That's oh, Mama, I like that rougher. <laughs> Well, as you can see, Ninja really enjoyed it, and so did Mama, right, Mama? It oh, tastes yeah. amazing. Oh. The taste, guys, is spot on. You know, there's many different ways to make pamonha. The traditional way, like I mentioned to you in the beginning, is that way, but the taste is spot on. The only thing that, you like it. You look like you like it. No, I don't like it. <laughs> the only thing that is not spot on is the consistency, and I have done this every single day 
Mau Mau, believe it or not, what you just suggested, I've tried it, making it firmer too, but it didn't work, but I got the taste, which is the most important. The consistency yes. should be a little bit more firmer. And I tried, I put a lot of flour, I tried with more corn, I tried many different ways, but I'm at, at a happy stage that I'm able to let you guys try it, see how you like it. I would love to know all of your opinions, especially the ones that never tried this before, like Ninja. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> yeah, damage the lens, Ninja. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I don't, you know, I'm gonna give it a quick try because I know what it tastes like because I made it several times. You made more, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, Mama, the taste is spot on. It is great. It's perfect. It is delicious. Now we have something like this in Cuba, but Ninja, you're almost done, bro. It's more like a pudding, you know. Yeah. And the consistency is exactly. This the one same. is kind of like a pudding. Bamoya is supposed to be like a tamale, yeah. hard. But I love this one. I prefer this one to the bamonia, whatever thing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you have to try it. You know, I love to hear your opinion. Now, another thing that you can do is that you can just put it directly on the mason jars and put the cheese in there and seal it up and eat it like a pudding as well. It is fantastic and it tastes amazing. And if you tweak this to make it a harder consistency, let me know because this is me and my mom's favorite food when we were growing up. Don't do it. Perfect, ladies. <laughs> Ninja, you done, bro. <laughs> you, told me, you told me there's more in there. There's more, trust me, there's a lot more. <laughs> Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's something completely different from my hometown. I Let did. me know how you enjoyed it. I did. <laughs> Ninja like it. If you do enjoy this type of video, something completely different, let me know, give it a thumbs up to this video. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is on the description down below. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Please, if you do try it, let me know. If you want some good tamales, do it like this, man. <laughs> Those Brazilian tamales? <laughs> yeah, man. It's freaking awesome. See you guys on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Tastes good, huh, mama? Yep. Mmm. This consistency is not right, but the taste is all there. I didn't mention to you guys what I put on top and sprinkled on top is cinnamon. So you can put a little bit of it. Tastes amazing. Give it a try. What happened? Mm. Guys, so my mom is in heaven. So happy. You're in heaven, my mom. Oh. No keto for you. I miss you, baby. No keto, and then you're gonna break the keto with a pamonia. That's the way to do it, huh, my mom? <laughs> if you're gonna break a diet, you gotta break it like this. Mm -hmm. Do you approve? Yes. My mom approve.